Hi everyone, good afternoon from Italy and thank you for joining. My name is Daniele and I'm responsible for the K Academy, the educational program of KRA. Today I want to show you a variety of prestigious venues all around the world where major consultants have selected our speakers for their unique technology and unique design. So, as I was saying, today we will see a variety of, uh, of venues, like theaters. This is the beautiful Royal Opera House in London, where it's really hard to spot the speakers because the PA system is composed of our long lines complete of, of um, column speakers installed at the size of the proscenium and custom colored to, to become absolutely invisible. But creating these long lines of column speakers have some acoustical properties that I think it's worth investigating together today. And we will see also other kinds of venues like conference rooms, where high intelligibility is required and where there is no need to distribute a lot of speakers all around. In this case, the consultants selected our long columns with a very long throw and with just a left and right PA system, they were able to cover this room, which is more than, it's around 150 feet long. We will see all these things during this brief webinar. And we will see also smaller venues, like this beautiful home cinema at Samsung's Italian headquarters in Milan, where they selected our speakers because they are so slim and compact to fit in the frame of the screen itself. So today I don't want to go too much in explaining all the tech specs of all the speakers. I really want to show you the unique properties and characteristics of our column speakers. That will be the main focus of today's webinar. So let's start. Of course, we are not the only ones promoting column speakers in the market, right? Every manufacturer around the world nowadays is promoting some kind of columns. But a column is just a shape. It's what you have inside, how the, the woofers, the transducers are arranged, that it's really changing and affecting how the sound is propagated from these columns. And in KRA, Back in 2005, when we launched into the market our first column, we made a choice. We decided to create pure arrays. What do I mean with pure arrays? Well, if you open any of our column speakers, you will realize that inside there are only identical cone drivers closely spaced. There is nothing else. There are no compression drivers coupled to horns or waveguides. There are no bass reflex ports. There are no passive radiators. There are not even, there is no crossover point because these are one-way speakers composed of one kind of cone drivers closely spaced in a pure, true line array configuration. And the consequences of this design is not only a pure sound, because you can expect, for example, a very straight phase response from a speaker designed this way. But even more important, in my opinion, is the fact that you can join several of these columns all together to create a line array as long as you need. Since these columns are composed of only identical cone drivers in a line, when you join another column, you just keep adding more sound sources in the array, and you can create a long, 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 long array to match the size of the venue that you want to cover. 
Because we all know that the longer the array, the farther is the distance that you can cover uniformly. This is a section view of a simulation that I, that I made uh, where you can see uh, the side view of, of one of our column speaker, and which is one meter long. So it's around 40 inches long, one column. And you see this is a simulation at two kilohertz that the sound can easily cover 10, 30 feet very uniformly. And then these high frequencies start to drop, as we all know. But if we join together two columns to create a longer pure array, we really increase the throw. You see now that we can cover almost 80 feet really uniformly with a minimal variation of SPL level and with really the same tonal balance everywhere. Not enough, bigger room, no need to install a lot of small speakers all around and tons of delay lines and whatever. Make the array longer and increase the throw. If you are using a pure line array speakers, that's something that you can absolutely do. So let's start our journey from small venues that require short arrays, and then we will move to larger and larger venues, and we will see that just making the array longer, we can cover very well even the largest venues. Let's go. This is a beautiful uh, store of Gucci's, so really high-end fashion store in Italy. And a room this size, really, there is no need to install big uh, black uh, boxes in the corners of this room. What the consultants chose for this room, it's our Lizard KZ14, a speaker that is just 10 centimeter long like a finger. That's the appropriate length to throw the beam in such a small area while being totally invisible. Of course, there are also some subwoofers for the low end. There is one sub in this room, we will see it later, which is hidden somewhere. We don't have to worry about subs because we can easily hide them everywhere. I don't even know where the sub is in this picture. Another beautiful example, here we are in New York City. Again, a nice room as this, with our shortest array that we have in our catalog, the Leeds Arcade Z14, absolutely enough to fill the room with a very pleasant soundscape. A little bigger room like this, uh, here we are at our headquarters in Italy, and in, in one of our conference rooms, at the side of the screen, you see we have a line array which is a little longer. A little longer, it's our Viper KV25, because the room is pretty long, the speakers are on one side only, close to the screen, and we want a little longer throw to reach even the farthest seats with perfect intelligibility. But if we move, to a bigger area, this beautiful uh, uh, hotel, this is the lounge of a hotel, the restaurant area of a hotel in Austria, you see at the sides of the mirror, there is a speaker that is 50 centimeter long. Why? Because we need to throw more in the distance. No need to go with the bigger speaker or something like this huge. A pure long array can be almost invisible and feel perfectly the room. Other examples, here we are in Ibiza at the W Hotel that recently opened, and to cover this beautiful lounge at the ground floor, again, you can see the Viper speakers. 50 centimeter long, uh, it's around 20 inches, perfect size to cover this room. But look upstairs, you see there is a bar, and that bar is really not deep, it's, it's really small. So we can go with a shorter array, 
And here we are again with our Lizard KZ14, the little speakers we have seen before. Really, depending on the size of the room, we will choose the length of the array that matches the size of the venue. Other beautiful example, here we are in New York City at the Veronica restaurant, and look how beautiful is this place. You really need to be discreet with the speakers, and in this case, finding the speakers is pretty complex. So if I zoom, you will realize that there are again our Viper speakers, but you see two of them one on top of the other, to create a longer line. Why? Because this space is really wide, and we want to throw the whole distance uniformly. We don't need a bigger speaker. We need a bigger speaker when we want to increase the overall SPL. But if we need to increase the distance that we want to cover, we just need to make the array longer, join two columns together, and that's done. As I was saying, in case you need higher SPL, here we are in a kind of rooftop cocktail bar. So in the evening, there is a DJ playing. You need some more level. We will go with a speaker which is a little larger. This is our Cobra KK52, composed of two inch con drivers, so still extremely small, but with more SPL compared to the Viper that we have seen before, which is composed of one inch con drivers. But the length, again, no need to go more than 50 centimeters, 20 inches, for a place like this, which is not that big. Or for a place like this, this is the beautiful Tao uh, downtown in New York City, and this restaurant area, Again, you see the distance between the speakers and the tables is not that big, so you don't need such a long array. But if we move to another restaurant, we can discover another very important feature of all our speakers, and is that they are available in any RAL color to make them even more invisible. Even if they are compact, making them in a special color to match the color of your, of your walls can really be a great solution to keep the design as beautiful as the architect dreamed about. And, of course, not only our column speakers, but also the subwoofers can be custom colored. And even if my presentation today is more, is more focused on the mid-high elements, I wanted to quickly show you also the subwoofers, because, of course, they will be always a part of your installations to support the mid-high elements. For these kind of venues, we propose usually two lines of subwoofers, our rumble or our thunder. The Rumble are really the most compact subwoofers ever made. Extremely slim, easy to flash mount, made of stainless steel, completely weather resistant. They are the perfect solution for all those venues where you need that warm, deep, low frequency side of the spectrum, of the frequency spectrum, and without really taking any space in the place. You can hide these subs really easily. When you need more SPL, more punch for places where there is like a DJ playing at night, like a club, or there is some live music, the Thunder line is your choice. The, these subwoofers are just a little bigger, but they are even more punch and SPL compared to the Rumble. But as I, was told, as I was saying to you, let's go back to our column speakers and let's start to move in a little larger venues, like this conference room. This conference room is pretty long, so we will go with an elegant, discreet, longer speaker. This is our Cobra KK102, which is one meter 
40 inches long to throw in the distance and cover the entire place uniformly. Or this lounge, here we are again in, the, in a lounge of a beautiful hotel in Malaysia, and you see how big is this room? There is a screen and they have some audio content to reproduce from the screen. And again, we go with a one meter long column speaker. Again, completely invisible and shining. You see from this picture that the, the speaker is kind of shining. That's because it's one of our premium finishes. This column has been, it's been custom made in a, a polished stainless steel version. And you see it's totally reflecting the back wall. So it's a kind of finish that it's highly appreciated from architects, especially in places with a lot of light. The speaker in this finish will, will shine, uh, shine and reflect all the colors around. And we have also another special finish that it's really special. We can make our columns gold plated, and this is real gold, 24 carats. It's not just a color trying to replicate gold, it's real gold. And the reason why we can provide these premium finishes is because our speakers are made of premium materials either aluminum or stainless steel. And this makes them not only resistant to any kind of damage, but also it's really easy for us to custom color them or to make them in gold or polished stainless steel version. And of course, they are completely weather resistant. Here we are at the JF, JKF, airport in New York, sorry, and uh, you see the speakers are installed outdoor, no problem at all. They are absolutely weather resistant, IP64. You can leave them under the rain, night and day, no problem at all. And I love this uh, example because here we are in Canada and you see <laughs> the speakers are, it's snowing on the speakers and it's uh, extremely cold there. There is no protection above the speakers and that's not a problem at all. We use no plastic, but really only premium materials, everything made here in Italy, in our factory in Florence. Other examples, here we are in Washington, where our Cayman speakers are installed to provide a loud uh, coverage for the whole um, cocktail area. This is, uh, uh, this is really a beautiful, a beautiful place in Washington. But uh, here is another example, totally different venue. Here it's a house of worship, but again, the same kind of requirement, being able to throw the beam in the distance, being able to cover uniformly a long line with a long area with high intelligibility. And here in this house of worship, the consultants were really smart. Instead of installing a lot of speakers all around, just left and right, but joining together two columns to create a longer array with a longer throw. No other speakers involved. Cheap, easy, and perfectly effective. And another advantage of creating a longer array is that the longer the array, the narrow the directivity in the vertical plane. And this really increases the control of the energy. The longer is the array, the less reflections from the ceiling and the floor you are going to have. And so in a beautiful auditorium like this in India, here we go with three columns per side. Larger venue, longer array, as easy as that. And here, beautiful theme park in Turkey. And actually, in this park, there are 
around 180 clusters of KRA uh, speakers for all the areas that are inside the theme park. But at the entrance in this huge square, there are only four. Well, there are four clusters of speakers at the four corners of the square. Speakers, cluster of speakers that are long enough to cover the whole distance and create an immersive soundscape when you enter the theme park. Again, no need to install hundreds of small speakers all around. Larger venue, no problem. Four columns per side to throw even more in the distance and with the proper angles, of course, to cover both the ground floor, the first floor, the balcony, and whatever you need. Not enough. Let's go to this beautiful theater in Italy. That's the Teatro alla Scala in Milan, one of the most prestigious opera houses in the world. And here we go, five columns per side. Invisible, but able to really feel the theater with the beautiful, homogeneous sound. Not enough, let's go to the Lincoln Center in New York City with six columns per side. There is no limit, really. It's the length of the array. It's something that the consultants will adjust, and we are really help, happy to help the consultants to uh, select the best length to discuss uh, how to approach the design of these menus. And in this case, it's six columns per side, absolutely invisible. Another theater, another invisible PA, seriously invisible. Eight columns per side, one on top of the other in a long, continuous, pure, line array configuration. Some subwoofers under the stage, the theater is covered and nobody will ever spot the PA. And actually, if we look better, there is another really seriously unique, pure line array in this theater, and it's the front field. I'm sure that most of you already know about this speaker. It's one of our iconic uh, speakers, and it's our Anaconda. A flexible, two meter long speaker composed of closely spaced, identical con drivers. So it's a pure array, but with the advantage of being flexible to adapt to the shape, for example, of a stage. Or, can you see it there? Probably, some of you can. I'll help you, it's here. It's here we are in a TV studio, and of course the cameras, you don't want to see the speakers, but you need a monitor. And, the, and this flexible pure array is installed all around the table. That's really, uh, what we call a unique uh, solution. That's why we are KRA unique audio solutions. And I think this is, uh, this is the final example of today, but it's, I hope it really gives an idea of the concept of creating this long, pure line of sound. Here we are at the Lincoln Financial Field, the, the, the stadium of the Philadelphia Eagles. And uh, all around the stadium, in a big part of it, there is the anaconda used to reinforce the sound for the people who are sitting close to the field and which are not well covered from the main PA system that is installed in the, in the ceiling. And again, it's another example of pure line arrays. Of course, all these speakers are passive and they are driven by our amplifiers. Today, I don't want to spend the time uh, um, talking about all the details of our amps, but our amplifiers with DSP are completely Dante uh, compatible. They have multiple analog and digital inputs 
And the most important, they have on board the presets to drive our speakers, all of them with the proper equalization, the proper limiters. And so they are the components that are responsible of having our speaker playing at perfection. And then, of course, we have software to control um, all the amplifiers, all our self-powered speakers. We are really happy always to help with the design of your installations. And uh, all our speakers are available for modeling software like Ease. And we have 3D CAD models and all kinds of data that uh, you may need to simulate the behavior of our speakers in any kind of venue. But even more important, we are really available to give you as much support as you need. We are represented in more than 70 countries worldwide. In the United States and in China, we have actually our own operations with KRA USA and KRA China, Plus, we have a network of distributors all around the world that are more than happy, together with me and my colleagues from the headquarters in Italy, to go more in depth about all these things and to help you with all your projects. Because I know that today was just a, a quick journey around the world to discover some major uh, facilities where our speakers were selected, and I hope that was inspiring for some of your projects. I know that's just the beginning. We need to go more in depth about the distance between, uh, about the characteristics of each speaker, of the amplifier, but I know that your time is precious, so that was a very quick introduction into the world of the pure array technology that we developed. So I hope, uh, again, that was inspiring for some of you. And if you have any questions in any moment, really feel free to contact me and my colleagues all around the world. I really appreciate your time that you spend with me today. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Really, your time online is really appreciated. So have uh, a nice day or a good evening, depending on which part of the world you are in this very moment. Thank you very much for your attention. Take care. Bye-bye.